Hey guys, we are now going to go over the command line interface or CLI. So this is the the introduction, right, of the command line interface. Uh, we have done some command, um, or we have used the command line, but we haven't really gone through uh, like an intro video of how to use the command line interface in Fortinet. And the command line interface or CLI is an alternative configuration tool to the web-based manager of the web GUI that we have been using. While the configuration of the web-based manager uses a point and click method, the CLI requires typing commands or uploading batches of commands from a text file. Uh, most features are available on both GUI and CLI, but there are a few exceptions uh, like we have seen before um, that the, the CLI has more of advanced settings and diagnostic commands uh, for super users, um, which are in some cases are not available in the GUI. So for the Fortinet, let's go ahead and log into one. Um, this is going to be the first time logging into this one, which is fine. And empty password, right? Then it's going to force us to create a new password, which is fine. Can we clear? No, you cannot do that. Can we execute clear? Nope. Okay, let's just leave it like that. So, in the command, let's go ahead and start with the commands. Let me go ahead and just, I want to start fresh. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do that again. There we go. So, in in Fortinet or 40 OS, when entering a command, the command line interface uh, requires that you use a valid syntax and conform to expected input constraints. And it will reject invalid commands, just like in any CLI, just like in Cisco, where I learned was Cisco. That was my first baby. Also in uh, Juniper. So any CLI will reject any invalid commands, right? So one of the first commands that you can actually do is the, the first command is this one. Let's just say that you want to config. So that is a that is a command, right? And then when you give that command, you got to provide it with an object. So which object do you want to config? Um, one quick way to know what are the available options for that, you can just do a question mark and that will give you all the options available. So you can see over here, you can config any of these objects. You can configure system, log, router, antivirus, and, and whatnot, right? So let's just say that I want to configure the system, right? Let's just say system. And then that is, uh, that, that's basically an object, right? So what system do you want to configure? If you do another question mark over here, you know, and you can learn, that's how you learn, right? You just do keep doing question marks until you find what you want. But I want to go to interface. So that right there is an app, is an object. So you want to config, which is a command. And then the system interface is an object that you want to config. You press enter over here, right? Now we are basically in, in, in the sub command. So in here, if you do a question mark, so you can see the sub commands that you can do, you can edit, um, you can edit a table value, you can delete, which would delete a, a table value, perch would clear all table values, get, which is a dynamically, which you get is a dynamic and system information, show, which will show you the configuration, or end is just to save and exit the config. So if let's start with show. If we do a show over here, it will show you all the interfaces that we have. You can see all the ports and what we have configured. Basically, um, nothing because we don't we haven't done anything, right? But you can see from here when you do a show, uh, what well, you can see are the configuration that you can do. So you can see over here that you can do edit, and then you can go ahead and edit port one. So when you do edit, edit is called a sub command. So we do a question mark over here. All of these are sub command edit, delete, purge, get, show, and, and, and also end. So edit, let's do a sub command. And now you want to do a table. So which table do you want to edit? Edit. If you do a question mark over here, it would tell you all the tables that are available for configuration. So let's go ahead and do port one, right? When you do port one, and then you press enter over here. Now we gave it a sub command and a table that we want to edit. So remember, we went from a command, which was config, then it was an object. The system interface was the object. After that, we did a edit, which is a subcommand, and 
a we, we, we did edit port one so edit subcommand and the table is port one so that's why we, we want to um, edit right after that what you can do is you can set whatever right or you can just do a question mark and see what you could do from here question mark so here you can config set on set which is basically it's going to set to the default value when you unset you can select on select append clear get show next abort and all of those commands um, you can do so now if you do let's go ahead and set and then question mark so this is all the all the you know the options that you have so let's just go ahead and say um, set like the status and also if you do let's say set and you only put s and then after that you do a tap that's going to auto complete if you do a tap again it's going to keep going and it's going to go through all the s's right until it goes back and forth it's going to keep going through all the s's that you can configure over here all right so that is what is called the auto complete command so let's go ahead and set a status if you only put the sta and then you put you hit the tap key that's going to auto complete right because the only sta is only status in there if there was another sta it would go through those two um at the end or that start with sda but since there's only one that start with sda it will automatically auto complete to status right so set status and then you do a question mark right and over here it's an option so what are your option for here your option is for up or down so if you do up and press enter right and if you want to save this what well, you need to uh, if you want to save it you need to do the next command right or let's go ahead and go back or if you just want to save and just go to the global config or back to the yeah to the global config you can just do n and that will take you all the way out all right and if you want to look at your old commands you can just hit the up arrow key or you can hit the down arrow key right until you reach the end but if you go up the hit the up arrow key it will go all the way up and see all your commands that you have put in there so let's go do this command over here which is config and then the 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 command config right and then the object that we want to configure which is interface all right so in here let's go ahead and say edit port again and let's just say that we want to set the status let's just set the status again to disable um oh down hmm, so set to down and if you want to save this in here you can just hit next and this one will stay in the in the config system interfaces it will stay in here right so now you can see that we set that to down and if you do a show you can see over here that the status for port one is set to down now let's see what happens when you go ahead and unset that go uh, let's go ahead and do edit port one enter and let's just go ahead and unset status all right let's go ahead and go next and let's go ahead and sh you can even just show port you can show yeah uh, full configuration and just show um just a basic configuration you can see now that whenever you set the status it just removed it because it set it to the default status and the default status um, for this interface is um is to 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 be up all right so that is great so we have gone through that so like i said the command is the it's a word that begins the command line and indicates an action that the 40 gate unit should perform on a part of the configuration or host on the network such as config or also you can do execute so if you go to the end so these ones are commands right if you do a question mark all of those are commands config get show diagnose execute alias and exit it's another command a sub command um, a sub command is a kind of command that is available only when nested within the scope of another command after entering a command you get it so here you go let's go to config system interface so we have a config which is a command and the system interface which is an object right so now 
we go into the sub command. So the sub command, if we do a question mark, are edit, delete, perch, get, show, and end. All right, you get that? You get that? Right. Hopefully you guys get it. It's really easy to navigate, and if you're lost, you can just do end, or you can just do a question mark and and see what's out there, right? And some other commands I just go ahead and end to get out of it. And if you do like a show full configuration and then you do a pipe and you grep grep is basically it's going to search through the entire command and if you grep for a firewall let's say config system interface and then press enter then I do <clears throat> show full config for some reason the pipe command is not let's go ahead and maybe we gotta put this in quotes because we have spaces in here yep there we go so it will find the config system interface or if we just want to grab the um, port one it would find port one in here so it's basically a way to to search it is uh, also it's, it's like a Linux command so we got the show configuration the show for configuration pipe grep and then you specify the value that you want to look for um, the other one is you know just do this the show full configuration and that will show you the entire configuration of the Fortinet I mean the entire configuration and if you want to sit there you know it's a lot of configuration in here and if you want to get rid of it or get out of it I use a control C to get out of it the other command that you can do is the get system status and get system status in here will give you the status of the of the of the 40 gate right you can see the 40 OS you can see the last reboot you can see the VM resources in here you can see the version that we have 7.20 and build 1157 IPS you can see a lot of good information operation mode um, current that current virtual domain and a lot of other stuff um, and then we have the show command so in the show command these are really good command that I really like so let's say remember we did the config system interface now what you can do is a show system interface and that will give you all the interfaces instead of configuring it is going to show it to you so you don't have to go in there you can also do a show router static it will show you all the static routes that we have we don't have any the show firewall policy it will show you all the firewall policies what else we got oh show you can do a show system DNS it will show you the system DNS and if you do a show um, question mark right it will give you all the options that we can do um, authentication antivirus all of that if you do let's do a show user question mark and let's say the local user we can see that we have a guest user in here cool so that's how you use the show command so that show is a command right that shows you basically parts of objects right you want to see the show and you want to see the system interface objects you just want to see the system interface object it will show you all of that in there you can also do the get command so question mark get command is another another command and you can do a like get router info routing table um, and you can see oh do a question mark and here if you want to see all of them it will show you all of them there's no routing table because this is a plain 40 gate and if you want to be really specific you can just say I just want to see the routing table for rip I just want to see the routing table for OSPF routing table for you know BGP or routing table database right you can see everything in here all right that is the get command and if you don't know what to get you can just do get and do a question mark and you can see everything in here all right and last but not least is the show full configuration but then you just want to see the system interface so this one instead of the other one remember the other one we just give you the basics Ooh. the show um, system it's a show system interface it will only give you you know the basic that we have put in there but if you do the show full configuration system interface it will give you everything it will give you all the available commands it will give you the entire 
um, you know, commands that you can run on the on that system interface object, basically. And you can see here a lot of commands that you can run on each of those ports. All right. So this is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.